Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 31, 24. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. So again, keep your heads up, beautiful family, and keep looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And remember, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, said, Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach. We're going to keep watching until we're changed in the twinkle of an eye and caught up. And all glory to our Father in my last video. I made it real clear that the next big high watch time would be on 8-11, 8-12, the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av, Israel's worst day. The same day in history that the temple was destroyed twice. And you already know, Israel is at war, day 307, and this will be the first Tisha B'Av since Israel got attacked. And you already know, Iran has been threatening to attack Israel and make them pay for killing one of their commanders. And most of you know, Christina had a dream many years ago before she escaped, and she said in her dream that everybody was panicking, freaking out, running around, trying to find 811, and they couldn't find 811. Well, this year, on 811, it will be the 9th of Av. 811 in America and 812 in Israel is when the 9th of Av starts. And then she had a dream after that, and flashcards popped up in her hand, and the flashcards went 812, 12 8, 812. And then it repeated over and over, 8-12, 12-8, And then she seen these flashcards, 19, 21, 13. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me, blowing me up right now. All glory to you, Father. And that day, the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av, this year on 8-11, 8-12, was cursed by God because the spies, 10 of the 12, came back with a false report. So biblically... And logically, and in the spirit, what makes the most sense is that Israel will be hit hard, most likely, on the 9th of Av. And it'll be Sunday here, family. Sunday and Monday. So keep your heads up and keep watching. It's getting very exciting. And we know the day is approaching. And we know that it's an appointed day, appointed time. By God, the Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Father and the Son are one. It's Jesus Christ that has all the power and authority over heaven and earth. So strengthen your hearts for his coming. All faith, no fear. Let's go. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be. And they are. Always. And I'm waiting on Yeshua to print this flyer. And in the last video, I showed you this year on the Feast of Trumpets that there's a solar eclipse right in the woman. And last year, seven days after Israel was attacked, there was a solar eclipse right in the woman with the asteroid storm and Israel and crew Dragon 7 and much, much more. As you could see, child was coming out of that constellation. And I went over the signs on the eclipse this year, which is on October 2nd, the Feast of Trumpets. And I showed you the asteroid Feast is there. The asteroid Esther is there. And the asteroid Elias is on what they call Venus, the bright morning star. During the eclipse. And right above that is red wine. And good man is there. And Graves is there. And the asteroid king is right on top of what they call the woman, Virgo. Right next to Angel and Euphrates. And so much more. And since then, Yeshua has showed me so many more signs that are there. And I'm about to share them with you right now. And here's what it looks like. And right above king 
is an asteroid called, and these are minor planets, they call them too, and they are literally stars, like a shooting star. And they're always moving. And right above King is Nemesis. And right below King is Dawn. And right next to Peter is White Rabbit. And next to that is Glass. And right above Peter is Festin. And Festin also means feast. And right under Shakespeare and Born is Festal. And Festal also means feast. So you have three asteroids there that mean feast. And one of them is literally called Feast. On the Feast of Trumpets. And right next to Born. And remember, these are the birth pains that we're going through. And right next to Born is Joella. And as you can see right here, Joella is 726 Joella. And 726 in Strong's is Harpazo, Rapture. And as you can see at the bottom, it says 726 Joella is a minor planet orbiting the sun. And as you can see right there, Joella means Yahweh is God. The Lord is God. The signs are completely stacked on the Feast of Trumpets this year, family. And right in the eclipse, I showed you BAM. And right above BAM is Photographica. And right below BAM is Honoria, which means honor. And right below that is Pitho. And Pitho in the Bible means to persuade. And it's right here in Strong's Bible Concordance, 3982 Pitho. The definition is to persuade, to have confidence. And you can see right below that, 3982 Pitho involves obedience, but it is properly the result of God's persuasion. And there's so many signs that have to do with Jesus Christ and the Word, the Bible, and the birth. And right under Pitho is Veritas, which means truth. And under Pitho also is Yule and Grabo and Noel. And these all have to do with Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the birth. And right above red wine is Temple. And in what they call the scale is the asteroid Discovery and Superbus and Porter. And Porter means the gatekeeper. And under moons is Childress or Childress. And as you can see right there, it means child and house. And we're about to go home to our father's house where there's many mansions, where Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach is preparing a place for us. And he's coming to get us to take us to that place. So don't lose hope. Keep watching. Keep your heads up. And praise our Father, all glory to the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, for all the signs and everything He's showing us and everything He's carrying us through. And again, all glory to our Father. And last time I checked with Sonia, our sister, she said that we had 41 requests for flyers. And the battle continues. And he told me before I put out that last video that I was going to be persecuted like never before. And since that last video and even before I put it out, my family's been attacked. My finances have been attacked. I've been attacked personally and persecuted. My health has been attacked. But Yeshua has been carrying me through every bit of it. All glory to our Father. So the battle continues. So lift your sword up and speak the word of God. Just like Jesus Christ did. When he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by the devil. Don't give up. Keep pushing. He takes no pleasure in you if you draw back. We're on the front lines, family. Swing the sword, the word. Let it be known. Yeshua HaMashiach is the King of Kings. God Almighty. And nothing happens unless he allows it. He has all the power and authority. You already know it's written. And it's true. And God willing, I will print these flyers ASAP. But right now, the ministry is out of funds. And I'm completely out of funds. My bank account is overdrawn by $103. So if you're able to donate and you're led to donate by Yeshua HaMashiach, all my information is in the description box under this video. 
and our Father will supply all our needs according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So as soon as I have the money, I'm going to ask Sonia to print the flyers and she's going to start shipping them out as soon as we have the funds. And we're shipping a hundred per package. So 41 requests is 4,100 flyers. I'm going to try to, I'm hoping God has it predestined to print 10,000 to start. So if you have not requested flyers yet and you're being led to hand these flyers out to warn people and show them the signs, you can see right there at the bottom of the flyer is Sonia's email address, raptureflyers at gmail.com. And you can just email her your address and let her know that you want to hand these out and God willing, we will ship them to you as soon as possible. She is going to put a QR code on there so people could scan it and it'll lead them right to my videos. All glory to our Father. In Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua. And she's going to put the rapture flyer on the other side of these postcards with the word of God on it. And all glory to our Father. The day is approaching. And now that the ninth of Av is just a few days away. And right around the corner is the blood moon eclipse and the solar eclipse on the Feast of Trumpets. I'm going to start putting out more videos more frequently. And now I'll wrap this one up with Arecupa. And I've showed you, you can see at the bottom, that it means the city located behind the summit. And I also shared with you that it means trumpet sound. You can see right at the top. And it also means if you hold fast. Well, here's why I'm going back over this. Because on the Feast of Trumpets, it's right there in what they call Aquarius. And if you take the cartoon away, and even if you have the cartoon on, you can see that it actually looks like a man holding a shofar or a trumpet. And Aracupit means trumpet sound, and it gets way bigger. I'm about to show you all glory to our Father. Because Aracupa trumpet sound on the Feast of Trumpets is pointing right to the star Israel, which happens to be right next to our Cupid, that means trumpet sound on the Feast of Trumpets, and they will be blowing the trumpet on that day during the solar eclipse in the woman. And right next to Israel is America. And if these signs don't get your attention and Israel being at war for 307 days. Don't get your attention. I don't know what will. God, wake you up. And a lot of you are probably wondering where child is, the star child. Well, on the Feast of Trumpets, it's right next to Israel and America and Arecupa. And as you can see right there, it's right below what they call Aquila, the eagle. And if you take the eagle cartoon off of Aquila, it actually looks like Yeshua on the cross. And at the top, you could see the star Altar, like altar. And right above child, right on the wing of the eagle or the cross, is Celeste child. And Celeste means heavenly, heavenly child. And this reminds me of the transformation. And right in between child and celeste child is seraphina, which means seraphim, the most highest ranking angels. And there's much more there. And if we have time, I'll go over as much as I possibly can with you, family. But before I go, I want to remind you, celeste child, heavenly child, being on the wing of the eagle is gigantic, enormous, and here's why. Psalms 91.4, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalms 90.10, the days of our years are threescore years and ten, seventy years, and if by reason of strength they be Four score years, 80 years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So wait on Yeshua. Keep looking for that blessed hope. Let's finish this race strong. I love you, family. Keep your heads up.